Statistics and Probability is brought to you by the math teacher. For this week's lesson, we shall study the concepts of random variables and the various models of discrete probability distributions. When we do a research or an experiment, we are not only interested in the values that a random variable can assume, but also the probabilities associated with these values. That is why, random variables and probability distributions are important concepts in statistics and probability. The study of random variables exposes us to some interesting real-world problems on probability. Random variable. A random variable is a variable, whose possible values are determined by chance. A random variable is typically represented by an uppercase letter, usually X, while its corresponding lowercase letter, in this case X, is used to represent any one of its values. Discrete random variable. Random variables can either be discrete or continuous. A discrete random variable is countable and can only take a finite number of distinct values. Distinct values means values that are exact and can be represented by a non-negative whole numbers. And here are examples of discrete random variables. Continuous random variable. A continuous random variable is measurable and can assume an infinite number of values in an interval between two specific values. This means they can assume values that can be represented not only by non-negative whole numbers but also by fractions and decimals. Take a closer look at these examples of continuous random variables. Let us perform activity number one. Classify each of the following random variables as discrete or continuous. And now let us explore the concept of discrete probability distribution. A listing of all the possible values of discrete random variable, along with its corresponding probabilities, is called a discrete probability distribution. It can be presented in tabular, graphical, or formula form. Before a distribution can be considered a discrete probability distribution, there are two properties that must be satisfied. And here are the properties. A discrete probability distribution must comply with the following properties. The probability of each value of a discrete random variable is between 0 and 1, inclusive. Thus, p of x is greater than 0, and p of x is less than 1. And the sum of all the probabilities is 1. Hence, the summation of p of x is equal to 1. Let's take a look at the tabular presentation of a discrete probability distribution as an example. In the table, the random variable x assumes the values 0, 1, 2, and 3. The corresponding probabilities of these values are 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.3, and 0 0.2 respectively. These corresponding probabilities are each less than 1, but greater than 0, and when added, the sum is 1. Since the two properties are both satisfied, therefore, this is a discrete probability distribution. 
And the next example is a graphical presentation of a discrete probability distribution using a probability histogram. Note that the values of the discrete random variable x is lying on the x-axis, and each of the corresponding probabilities is along the y-axis. Example 3. The spinner below is divided into 8 sections. Let x be the scores where the arrow will stop at any given score x, numbered as 1, 2, 3, and 4, in the figure. Letter A. Find the probability that the arrow will stop at 1, 2, 3, and 4. Letter B. Construct the discrete probability distribution of the random variable x. Then letter C. Draw the probability histogram. Here's the solution. Let uppercase X be the scores on the spinner. Lowercase X be the values 1, 2, 3, and 4. P of 1, P of 2, P of 3, and P of 4 are the corresponding probabilities. And the probabilities obtained are as follows. If you may ask, how did we obtain these values of the probabilities? For P of 1, Notice that there are two parts of 1, out of 8 parts, so we have 2 over 8, or 1 fourth. For P of 2, there is only one part containing 2, out of 8 parts, so we have 1 over 8, or 1 eighth. For P of 3, there are likewise two parts of 3, out of 8 parts, so we have 2 over 8, or 1 fourth. And for P of 4, see that there are three parts of 4, out of 8 parts, so we have 3 over 8, or 3 eight. After obtaining the values of the probabilities, the discrete probability distribution is presented in the preceding table. And now let's construct the probability histogram. And that completed the solution required for example 3. Example 4. A discrete random variable x has the following probability distribution. Determine p of 2 and construct the probability histogram. To determine p of 2, use the equation specified in the second property, taking the sum of all the probabilities equal to 1. And after performing the indicated task, we get the value of p of 2 equal to 0.3. And then again, perhaps you may ask, how did we get 0.3 as the value of p of 2? Take note that, the sum of all the probabilities is equal to 1. We solved for p of 2, by adding all the given probabilities, 0.1 plus 0.2, plus 0.2, plus 0.2, equals 0.7, then 0.7, was subtracted from 1, and the difference is 0.3, therefore, P of 2 is 0.3. After getting the value of the missing probability, P of 2, the discrete probability distribution table is now complete. Then finally, we can construct the probability histogram. And that conclude, the completion of solution requirements for example 4. Let's summarize. A random variable is a variable whose possible values are determined by chance. A random variable is classified as discrete or continuous. A discrete probability distribution is a listing of all the possible values of discrete random variable and its corresponding probabilities. A discrete probability distribution have two properties. The probability of each value of x must be greater than 0, but less than 1. The sum of all the probabilities must be equal to 1. The probability histogram is used as the graphical presentation of a discrete probability distribution. As part of your performance task, 
Please see the link of the provided flipbook for random variables and discrete probability distribution, then carry out the indicated activity. Thank you.